Riot police fighting veterans outside the White House? Today's Monday, October 14th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $22. One Bitcoin is $138. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin from friendsofweusecoins.com. When you trade in dollars, you're supporting the state. Instead, trade in Bitcoin. Learn more at weusecoins.com. The Washington Times reports that immigrants' rights activists shut down a court in Tucson, Arizona this week by preventing authorities from processing illegal immigrants who were to be sentenced to jail and eventually deported. The activists had chained themselves to bus tires and to the court entrance early Friday morning and had been there for three and a half hours. The court canceled its proceedings for the day as a result of their protest. The immigrants on the buses were being held under something called Operation Streamline. Operation Streamline is a practice where judges sentence immigrants to labor in Arizona jails before they are deported as a punishment for entering the country without following the rules. Activist Roberto Rodriguez said, quote, when humanity is confronted with unjust laws, it's our responsibility to challenge them. Friday's move was a precursor to next week when activists plan to try and shut down the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Facility in Phoenix. Marissa Franco of the National Day Laborer Organization Network said, quote, under the president's administration, nearly two million families have been torn apart through detention and deportation. Our communities can no longer wait for the president to rediscover his moral compass or for Congress to actually do its job. We will do what any mother or father would do and keep our families together by preventing ICE from being able to tear them apart. On Friday, the activists posted live video of their protests online, showing some marching with signs in the middle of the road that read End Streamline. Others were lying down next to the bus tires to try and make sure the vehicles couldn't move. In another video, activists had blockaded the entrance to the court where the illegal immigrants were supposed to be processed. The activists had linked arms inside of tubes, which made it more difficult for authorities to separate them and remove them. One of those shooting the video said there were 70 people on the buses, and they were showing their shackles through the windows. One man on the video said, quote, Today, for the first time in six years, we've seen Streamline be stopped. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Once you get some Bitcoin, you're going to want to put it in a secure wallet. Download the free Bitcoin wallet at blockchain.info. TheBlaze.com reports this week that the Million Vet March descended on Washington, D.C. Sunday to protest the decision to close the city's public memorials. Thousands of demonstrators arrived early in the morning and tore down barricades that had been set up to block people from visiting the popular attractions. According to a statement on its website, the group said military personnel and veterans are, quote, being used as political pawns in the ongoing government shutdown and budget crisis. The group also said it has no political leaning, but believes that the closing of memorials is, quote, a despicable act of cowardice. The veterans were met by a horde of police officers in riot gear, surrounding the White House and beating their shields with batons. The Libertarian Republic reports this week that the U.S government is coming after Craig Zucker, the owner of famous Buckyballs Toys, demanding that he pay a $57 million fine to cover recall costs of his product. The government at first just forced him to stop selling the magnetic toys, but then they went even further. They're demanding that Zucker is solely responsible and should be forced to bear the burden of the fine individually. Now Zucker is fighting back against this egregious case and has created a new product called Liberty balls. They're a new product that is much bigger than the original product, so they can't get in trouble for selling them. They're the kind of balls you need to stand up for your rights against government. In other news, Audrey Tobias was found not guilty this week in a trial in Canada over her refusal to fill out a census form. The 89-year-old said she was willing to go to jail over the issue because she objected so strongly to the collection of Canadian census data by American arms manufacturer Lockheed Martin. Kudos to Audrey for setting an example for following generations. Imagine what would happen if everyone were as willing as Audrey to stand up for what is right. Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you by friends of weusecoins.com. Share this episode with your friends. If you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J. reminding you that peace is the way.
everyone somewhere inside loves the idea of freedom.